Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. And today we are going to be looking at a product which is primarily designed for thinner textured hair. Now, I myself have a lot of hair, but it is fine textured. So one of my daily problems and what I battle against is having fine hair which sits flat and it's really quite difficult to get volume, texture and body into my hair. And of course, a lot of shampoos and things which concentrate on the condition of hair, not necessarily the volume, actually makes the hair feel more softer, more sleeker. So in a way can be more counterintuitive and make the hair sit even more flatter. Today, we're gonna to be having a look at a product by Creatins, and that is the Bam Beautiful Natural Care for Thinning Hair Shampoo and Conditioner. Now, I haven't got thinning hair, but I always like to try and keep my hair through as thick and full as possible. I have had hair-related problems in the past, but keeping on top of them with a supplement called Viviscal, um, a hair growth program supplement, which is absolutely amazing, and I take that regularly to keep on top of any potential problems. As I always say, prevention is better than cure. And of course, on the outside of the body, it's really Really, really important that we look after thank you <laughs> it's really important that we look after the hair on the outside of the body with the best shampoos and the best conditioners for your hair type so it's vitally important to use one for example if you've got finer textured hair one for volume one for fullness and texture or if you've got quite thick hair one for smoothing and taming or if you've got one for frizzy hair it's always a real good idea of using the product the shampoo conditioner sort of sprays treatments what have you and styling products which is suitable for your hair texture now today we're going to be using the Creatins Professional Made in England Bam Beautiful Natural Care for Thinning Hair Shampoo and Conditioner. And that's these both here, which as you can see are in pump action bottles. And I have to admit, on first glance, you're probably expecting what do I think of them? So I think they are very good. But there are a few little sort of hit and miss things which I'm going to go through today. So let's start by looking at the shampoo. So this is Creatins Professional made in England. And this is Bam Beautiful Natural Care for Thinning Hair Thickening Shampoo, which is naturally derived ingredients of 90%, which is really fantastic. I'm a big advocate for products which use natural products as the core base ingredients of their product. And I just find that sometimes that can really, really help you rather than a lot of the artificial and the chemical things which are in some of these products which can very often taint the natural character of the hair and can make the hair quite dull can make the hair quite flat even though you're actually trying to battle against flatness in the hair it can be great the first second third time but then when you use it for a long period of time it can start to have a bit of a build-up so it's really great to see there is naturally detrived ingredients in here of 90% which is fantastic so let's have a look so it's 300 mils it's a pump action bottle so it's nice and easy to to squeeze into your hands when you're washing your hair and for price wise this one is 10 pounds so for 300 mils it is a little bit more steeper um, on the market on the high street market for of course a product of hair care but when you think of in terms of creating for thickness and for fullness and for a professional standard product, which I would say that Creatins is, sometimes it is used in uh, barber shops and salons, that type of thing. I have seen that before on my own eyes. So it is a fairly good price for a product for 300 mils. We're going to go into a little bit more of my thoughts, feelings and sort of overall conclusion on the product. But for now, it's a really good product and it is certainly something which I enjoy using. Now, I've used this for about the last week and I've used it every single day. And I wash my hair once in the morning to prep for when I want to style my hair. And then last thing at night, just to wash all the product out. Now, you may think that sounds absolutely catastrophic. But when you've got finer textured hair, there is no way that you would be able to leave your hair not washing it. Because I find what happens is it sits quite lank. It sits it's quite heavy and it sits horrible and you cannot get it into any type of style. So I always wash my hair once in the morning, which preps my hair nice and clean. And then once in the evening, and I always think your face is an extension of your scalp. So, for example, you would not wash your face in the morning, would you? And you would not wash your face at night or at least once a day. So that's why I always start off my hair care sort of basis like that. But the shampoo itself has a really nice fresh scent. It's on the verge of being quite a sweet fragrance but being outside. It's not floral notes or anything so it's perfect for men and women to use. 
Now, the shampoo itself, I have to admit, isn't a product which you can just rush in with. I do not think for one minute this would be a product which you could just use sort of if you were in a bit of a rush or if you were short for time or if you were going out for an evening and you wanted to just dive into the shower very quickly. I don't think this system would be very good for just a quick shampoo and then a quick conditioner, not leaving it in your hair for very long to and just being able to go in and style your hair. I think that you wouldn't get the benefits from this and if I'm being completely honest, it just does not work as a system which if you're if you're trying to be really, really quick or if you want it to be a quick system, then this is not the product for you. Because I find that the shampoo, with the help of the pump action bottle, is brilliant. It lathers into a really nice lather in your hair straight away. It has a really nice scent, but straight away it's not moisturising. I'm all about honesty on my channel. And if you were just to then just expect to have a quick couple of seconds shampoo, quick couple of seconds conditioner, you would end up with straw like hair. This is for thickening hair and for making hair appear fuller with body. Now, the shampoo, I will be honest, it moisturises your hair slightly, but it doesn't moisturise your hair greatly. What it does straight away is it's like as soon as you put it into your hands, what you're doing is you're washing your hair, but you're also washing texture into your hair. Now, just to kind of explain that, some products with my hair, I have fine textured hair. So what happens with that is if I wash my hair and then I condition my hair, what happens is very often it can make my hair so soft and super sleek that it sits flat and it sits really really flat to my scalp and it's really difficult to get it into any type of style that does not mean that you are thinning that means that you have quite fine textured hair very soft downy hair doesn't mean that you've got hair loss potentially it could mean that you've got an issue of changing but if you've got this type of hair all the time it does not mean that you necessarily have a problem but it is important to use products which boost volume and use them in the right way and getting that thickness and that fullness so for me the shampoo what i always do is i shampoo my hair twice once to cleanse the hair the second time to cleanse the scalp and then in the evening if i'm washing my hair once to remove the product the second time to cleanse my hair and scalp now, for me, I've always done that just because I use so many different hair products in my hair. If I didn't do that, I wouldn't get the real benefits of the shampoo. So if you think about it, the first one is to remove all the debris from your hair of the hair product, to remove the oils and to remove the daily grime from your hair. That sounds pretty grim, but let's be honest, your face can feel greasy at the end of the day. So your hair is exactly the same in your scalp. When you shampoo that out, then the next second shampoo, you're going to get the benefits from the shampoo on your hair and your scalp. And then you're going to get a much better foundation to get the best style for you, which is going to work throughout that day. Let's have a look. That brings me smoothly on to what's in this shampoo. So this is Bam Beautiful Shampoo. So gradually create stronger, thicker and fuller. Uh, gradually, sorry, gradually create stronger, healthier and thicker looking hair with a blend of naturally detrived ingredients. The first one is Eco Sat Bamboo. Naturally promotes strength and shine. Now, if you think about it, very often in thinning shampoos or for shampoos for fine hair or for ones which create volume or texture, you will find that they very often have proteins in there or they have products such as uh, wheat proteins or something such as bamboo. Now, the easiest way to describe that is if you imagine the cuticle of the hair and you've got naturally fine textured hair, something such as wheat proteins or uh, or a protein such as like that or a bamboo, what that does in the shampoo is it tries to engulf the hair around and wrap itself around the hair, which ultimately makes the hair stand up thicker, fuller and away from the scalp, giving that illusion of thicker and fuller, stronger hair, which makes ultimately your hair easier to style. That's my thought around it anyway. So in here, we know we've got the bamboo. Then the next product is the organic pea sprout which is rich in protein starch and fibers now pea sprout extract i've done my own research in that in a lot of other different products before and ultimately there is some research there's a little bit of humming and hawing behind it whether or not it makes hair grow thicker if it's beneficial for hair loss now i think if you're going to come across a product and it's going to have pea sprout in it it's worth a try but do not as the old saying goes put your eggs all in one basket because pea sprout is really really great but i do not believe that if you are suffering from hair loss just a shampoo and a conditioner can resolve your problem it's the ultimate thing of making sure you have the perfect balance in diet the perfect balance in in exercise the perfect balance in stress anxiety all of those things that daily sort of balance and then use the right products out outside shampoo conditioner perhaps leave-in treatments root boosting sprays and of course that's going to help you then have the ultimate thicker fuller luscious hair what you want and what we all aspire for
But if you're just putting all your faith into a shampoo and a conditioner, take a moment, sit back and just calm those thoughts and just really try and get some composure. Because sometimes when I had a problem and I had quite a lot of hair loss back in 2015, I had a big patch in it and it thinned throughout the front. I done all this research, I really try to gain a knowledge, and I, well, since I've started my YouTube channel, I really like to try and share that. So yes, we have amazing products such as shampoos and conditioners on the market, but I do not believe they're the holy grail for hair loss. It's the balance of good fitness, exercise, healthy diet, stress balance, all of those things, keeping the scalp invigorated, scalp massages, all sorts of things. And then of course, using scalp drops, scalp serums, it's not easy. If you've got a hair related problem, it's certainly not easy. But if you keep on top of it, you can find a balance and you can find that sort of regime which is going to work for you. Once you find that, you don't need to change it. Then, of course, it becomes easier and easier and easier. On the back of the shampoo, getting back to this as well, it also has hyaluronic acid. Now, there's a lot said online that hyaluronic acid is the essence of youth, which keeps our skin plump shiny, dewy, glowy, whatever you want to call it, all those feminine terms. But of course, men want to look good as well. I know I do. So throw that into hair, you're going to have moisture hair, moisture scalp balance. And lo and behold, it says on the back here that it's intensively moisturises for beautifully soft, healthy hair. This is where it gets interesting. So for me, this isn't a super moisturising shampoo, but yet they're selling it as that on the back. <sighs> A little bit hmm about it. I like the product range because I like how it makes my hair feel. But however, if you were just going to use a shampoo, I would not be using this system because what it does ultimately is it puts texture in the hair straight away. So when you go to wash your hair out, what you'll feel is that it gets it gets moisturized and you feel that you've washed your hair with this nice real this real quality product this professional edge product but straight away you feel that you do have to be a bit careful you do have to be a little bit more cautious you can't go crazy and rough your hands through your hair because it makes the hair a little bit more fragile in terms of it pumps so much texture in there so it's great if you've got a super fine hair but what you ultimately need to do after that is you can't just leave your hair shampooed. You really can't. And that's why I come back to saying you cannot rush the system. Because then you need to come with the conditioner. Now the conditioner calms that sort of um, rough feeling. But slightly moisturised. I don't want to put you off by saying that it doesn't moisturise the hair at all. Because it does. The shampoo does moisturise the hair slightly. But it doesn't hugely. I would like a little bit more moisture from the shampoo. I have to admit. Because the volumizing and the texturizing from the shampoo, we will get to in a moment my evaluation when I've come to styling my hair with it. But what you ultimately need to go in with is the conditioner. The conditioner I love because it's got a really nice soft sort of... Um, it's, it reminds me of being out in the garden. It's got a nice sweet smell, but it's nice and fresh and it's really quite uplifting. It's soothing on the scalp and it gives you that feeling of nice fresh cut hair so it makes everything feel soft balanced it doesn't make the scalp feel uncomfortable it doesn't make you feel itchy or uncomfortable or not wanting to use the product again at all but let me be honest if you're going to use it for seconds for some reason it doesn't seem to do a thing on my hair and I thought when I first used this because I used this once very very quickly I was kind of it was late in the evening I just wanted to sort of relax had a quick bath um wanted to quickly hurry up and get back to what I was doing. I think it was studying or something, whatever I was doing. I wanted to get back to what I was doing. Um, I used it quickly and I thought, I've just paid £10 each for the shampoo and the conditioner. Absolutely hate it. Don't want to use it ever again. Following morning, I thought to myself, OK, give it a chance. I left the conditioner in. So I entered the bathroom, don't know what I had to do. Come downstairs, had breakfast, had coffee, come back up, wash it off. Sounds crazy and we haven't all got that time, but I really wanted to give a strong evaluation on this. And if you leave this in your hair for a lot longer, so about 15 minutes, you get a really super moisturised and you get that real nice feeling that it's soothed the scalp and it's looked after the hair. So that's why I come back to say to you that this is not a system you can rush. So if it's something you want for first thing in the morning when you're going out the door for work and perhaps you like... I don't know, you like to lie in bed late or you've got a real pressured uh, lifestyle, you're really full on all the time. This isn't going to be for you. You do need to allow yourself time or perhaps it could be something for you which you use weekly or the weekend where you've got more time to enjoy it. But for me, this you do need to take your time with. Now on the back here, it says here, intensively moisturises whilst gradually creates softer, healthier, thicker looking hair with a blend of naturally detrived ingredients. Now for me, I would want to add the line... If you take your time, leave it in your hair for around 10 minutes. 
So it is a little bit sort of hit and miss, I find, with that. But having said that, I do like the system. I really, really do. On the back here, it's got the bamboo, it's got the pea sprout extract, and it's got the hyaluronic acid, which we've talked about already. So it's got all those great ingredients in here. And of course, with the conditioner, what you really want it to do is when it when you use it first of all and you don't feel that it's and it's and you don't feel that it's done enough for you, leave it in a bit longer. Now admittedly with men's shampoos and conditioners, I haven't got the time, I haven't got the patience sometimes <laughs> with life being so busy like what we all have. But if you want that great style, sometimes you've got to put time, you've got to put effort into it. And of course, it all pays off. So for me, I've used this for about a week now. I will probably go down to using it probably about once a week. And if I want a volumized style, this is where it gets interesting. So for how much it is and for all those ingredients in there, it does volumize your hair. The shampoo puts texture in your hair straight away and it puts volume in your hair straight away. But for how it makes your hair feel, I would have thought that it would have made your hair much more volumized, much more sort of constructive when you dried your hair off with a blow dryer and the brush. Now, for me, the conditioner, if I didn't leave it in long enough, doesn't really do too much for volume, slightly, but not a lot at all. If I leave it in my hair for that length of time, which we've talked about, and I take my hair, if I take my time with my hair with a blow dryer in a sort of a, not, uh, a rectangular vented brush and I, and I blow dry it off one side and I blow dry it off the opposite side. So, of course, this all takes time. Now, I blow dry it off the opposite side I'm wearing it. So today I've wore it this side. So then I would dry it off to this side. Ultimately, I'll be very honest for the products which is in here, for the cost which I've paid and for everything which it says on the description. I'm a little bit disappointed on the terms of the fullness, the volume and the texture and the thickness. I would have thought it would have made my hair that bit more easier to get volume, that little bit more thicker feeling and a little bit more volume. It does do that, but it doesn't hit up here to what I would expect, what it says on the products and what it says in terms of price as well. Having said that, it's a product which I really like. And I think that's more because of how it makes my scalp feel, to be quite honest with you as well. And because it gives you that sort of gentle lift away from the scalp. I've used products before, which gives me much more volume. Um, and for me, when I have volumized styles, like today, I love the style that I've got today. And how I've created this is I've took a uh, rectangular vented brush, dried my hair backwards, and then dried it off to one side, and then dried it off to another again. And then when I'm about 95% dry, I dry it off in the opposite direction I'm wearing it. So for example, if I'm wearing my hair this way, I will dry it off this way. Once I'm finished though, I do find that my hair very quickly started to sort of sit quite flat. So it was really quite quick to get in there. I had to spray the blasting three spray, spray the hairspray, the waxes, the powders, whatever I use, texturizing powder, which you dust into your hands and then rub through your hair, or you can just tap it into your roots because doesn't give me that ultimate volume and that ultimate texture which I would expect from the system in terms of price what it says on the ingredients don't forget as well there's 90% natural ingredients in here as well and in the in conditioner is 96 so even more so you're expecting more lift more natural texture and volume overall I'm pleased with it it's not my favorite but I do like the product so it will some will be something i would continue to use would i buy it again yes i would but i think ultimately because of how it makes my scalp feel and that sort of gentle lift away from my scalp helping me to get my hair into the style helping me manipulate my hair into the style i want to wear but i know just off the top of my head if i was to use my cerioxal professional shampoo and conditioner i would get my hair like this but a little bit more volumized i know if i was to use my alpazin shampoo that gives me much more natural texture natural volume in my hair Hair straight away and I know just off the top of my head my recent shampoo conditioner of the Hask Biotin uh, range would get my hair in a much more volumized style as well but having said that I'm pleased with the product I'm just open and honest because if you were looking to buy this I'd want you to have that same experience what I would but of course much much more so give it a try but just be realistic in your approach and please please take on board with my experience there okay so thanks very much indeed for watching this i've really thoroughly enjoyed doing this clip and until next time we will see you then bye bye now